Hello, this is Strain, and today's Top 5 Review is John Wick, Chapter 2. So what is the Top 5 Review? Well, it's simple. I come up with five good, five bad, a political show, film, or anything between. So, let's begin. Now we're going to start off with the good. And number one, the opening. I like the fact that the movie starts off exactly where we left off in uh, in the first chapter. The fact that he still has to deal with the Russians. The fact that they they, oh, they still have his 1969 uh, Mustang, beautiful car, awesome car. I don't know why the heck he decided to use it to 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 beat up the bad guys with it because it was such a beautiful car. Anyway. Besides that, I love the action scenes they used with the car. The fact that he was beating the shit out of uh, these goons. And plus, I love the, the whole setup as we get further in this chapter. And number two, the marker. When he introduced this thing as sort of a story setup for John Wick to complete, uh, or at least honor the life that, that he owes to the crime boss Santino, this also adds to the mythology that is so great about the Continental that is the fact it's a hotel assassin, you know, uh, with the rules that uh, no one's allowed to conduct business in the continental and whoever makes um forms a marker has to honor honor that marker and i thought this was uh awesome to add the mythology that is john wick you know the fact that uh or for him to complete this impossible task he had to make this blood debt or for him to actually you know be free and be with his wife and i thought that was a great uh setup to find a way to you know as John Wick tries to retire, they keep finding a way to pull him back in. <laughs> and number three, Cassian, played by Common. I really like uh, Common's characters this as Gina's uh, top bodyguard and the fact that he was a great uh, rival slash uh, adversary for John Wick. I love all his uh, fight scenes with John Wick. It was great. You, it, it was awesome. And the fact that they, that uh, Common pulled on great. I, I hope we get to see more of this character because I think uh, this character is pretty cool in my opinion. And number four, my favorite scene in this movie, or at least favorite uh, long-running uh, action sequence, is the Reflection of the Soul exhibit. And I really like the, the, the whole setup, the fact that, you know, John Wick knows exactly where, where Santino is, and he's going to exhibit, he's killing all these guys, like, boom, 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 headshot, boom, 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 headshot. And eventually he makes his way to uh, this uh, House of Mirror thing, it definitely reminds me of Bruce Lee in the... In, uh, Enter the Dragon. It was great. It was like like him moving around, you know, trying to move as he gets closer and closer to Santino. And then I also like the the fact that we got a nice, um, you know, final showdown between uh, John Wick and uh, Santino's uh, top bodyguard, Ares, played by Ruby Rose. It was great. I love the 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 whole back and forth that he had. A little quick, a little there, and nice uh, nice final send off that uh, Ares was able to uh, pass along to John Wick it was great. Lastly, and number five, the ending. I really like how this movie ended. It's a nice setup for what we're going to expect for chapter three. Uh, the fact that, you know, John, he broke the rules of the Continental. He's excommunicado. Uh, he has no longer any privileges to the, any connection to the Continental. He's a man on the run. There's a huge price on his head. Uh, and I even love how, how he warned Winston, uh, management of the New York Continental, and said, if any, when they come for me, let them know that. I'll kill him. I'll kill him all. And it's, oh, this is so big and awesome for chapter three. Oh, I cannot wait to see what this happens. And it was a it was a great way to end this movie. And plus it leaves us wanting more for the continuation that is the legend, the man, the myth, John Wick. Now for the bad. Unfortunately, this time I couldn't come any bads for this film. There was nothing really negative about the film that I could find. And that's a good thing. Now for the overall. Overall, John Wick chapter two was Definitely an enjoyable ride, great experience, a great continuation from the awesomeness that was Chapter 1, and I so cannot wait for Chapter 3. Well, that concludes my Top 5 review. Guys, I'm curious what were your Top 5 positives or potentially Top 5 negatives of John Wick Chapter 2. Let me know in the comment section. Also, guys, if you're curious about what other videos I make next, you know, subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to pull that bell icon to get notified. As always, thanks for watching this vid, and I hope to catch you guys in the next vid. Bye.